today i will show you how we can flip an image we, i will just show you the manual way or and after that i will show you how we can flip an image by using the built-in function and here this is actually necessary for understanding the basic concept of the pixels how this works and that is why i'm just showing this one but there are actually built-in function already with which you can flip the image easily so here after this i will read the image first and the image will be inside single quotation and then a semicolon and after this subplot there will be one row two column one row two column and position will be one and then i am show a and you will see we will get some error here because i have not yet select the folder from this one so here let me just select this one and after this if i run you will see the image so let's add a title for this one and then i will just get the size of this image and i will put that in three variable r c and z number of row number of column and number of color plane or color channel and here i will just use a variable called j for representing the number of columns and here what we need to do inside a flip we need to actually get the last columns value in the first one so that means we need to go in the reverse order so j will be equal to c and it will be minus 1 each time and the operation will continue until j will be equal to 1 and then we will put the value of a into b and then inside this parenthesis we will give the value of the pixel first let's write a variable i equal to 1 for representing the number of rows and here inside the b we will take all the rows and we will perform this same operation for every row and the column will be i and then the color channel okay and here in again for a all value of row will be taken and the column name will be actually j in this one and then color plane we will take all of the color plane and then we will increment the value of i by one okay So here I represent the column of B and J represent the column of A if you are seeing this operation properly and here let's resize our image into a smaller size so that we can see the output that if it is actually working properly or not. So here I will just take 3 by 3 matrix there will be 9 values so that we can under, um, see the change easily. Okay, but you can see there are too many values because there are actually red green and blue channels so for each image we are actually seeing them so first let's okay we need to actually get the size uh, after we resize it otherwise the for loop will actually run for number of c times but the, uh, after resizing it there were not actually number of c um, values so here you go we have this one let's just show one value of this image or one value of this channel for red channel let's say so first channel b then for all row and column number of channel is one now you can see the difference this one is actually coming to the first position and the first one is going to the last one so they are actually exchanging their position if you can see here so that is how the flip is working every value from the last column is actually coming to the first column that is how this is actually working and now we can actually uh, remove the resize and we can show our second image b we will see a flipped image uh, of that first original image in this position okay now let's use the same one the position will be 2 and image will be b and this one will be flipped image and now let's run this one now you can see there the original image and the flipped image all the pixels have actually changed their position and now after doing this what we can do is we can actually delete this portion if we want to use the function and for using the function you just need to write a simple one that will be b equal flip dim 
and then inside this one we will write our image that we want to flip you can give two four or anything else okay we'll be using this one and let's write this inside a comment if anyone want to use it you can write this instead of that for loop 